Hi folks, Phil here. I thought I'd knock up a quick video just showing you how to use VCCS for coordination in the latest Euroscope beta. Um, the VCCS coordination tries to emulate a real world system, which is a lot like uh, this one, which is the one they use at Birmingham. And it looks very similar to this, as you'll see. So, the first thing you need to do is download the Euroscope beta, and I'll put all of the, uh, the links and uh, IP addresses and things in there in the video description below. Download the Euroscope beta from here, uh, from this link, and all you do is extract the files from there uh, and replace your main Euroscope, uh, replace them in the Euroscope directory wherever you installed it. Uh, I personally took a backup of the whole folder, but um, I've not had any problems with uh, Euroscope since I've been using the beta, certainly not from the beta. I've had problems with some of the other plugins but I believe that's nothing to do with the beta and there has been a recommendation that if you run Euroscope in um, Windows XP Service Pack 3 compatibility mode then that can also help. So once you've got the beta um, assuming you're using the latest UK controller pack then some of this stuff will already be filled in for you. So what you need to do is go to other set VCCS dialog and here's the window that looks very similar to the one before the, uh, the buttons that you see pre-configured are pretty much a London South configuration, but you are free to change this if you control other places uh, more frequently. Um, first thing to do, go into Edit. This is the server address you need. This currently is one of my servers. Um, hopefully in the future VATSIM or, or VATUK will uh, support an official server, but for now this is the, uh, this is the one to use. The port should remain as the default and the nickname should be your VATSIM controller ID. The capture devices should be um, capture and playback is just whatever audio device as you're already used to that you want this uh, to work with um, and you just need to set the ground to ground push to talk key. I personally have that the same as I use for TeamSpeak because if I'm doing coordination wherever it is I just want to use the same button. Um, forget the ground to air channels for now that's something for the future I, I believe um, and the ground to ground channels here you can see the pre-configured ones and what this means if you click on one of these this is the first label on the button this is the second label on the button this is the position so page one uh, row one column one and it takes a bit of filling around to to get these buttons in the right places when you set them up uh, choose the colors if you really want to uh, and this part here this should match um, whatever's in the sector file information for that position um, if you don't do that and somebody comes on as a relief call sign then it's not necessarily going to match up so for example you can see Stansted Tower are online uh, and if I can find them SST matches the SST that you'll find in the in the sector file I think it's in the ESE file so you do need to match those up properly um, so that's everything you need on that screen then you've got three pages of buttons these are the London ones nothing on page three and the the London area uh, aerodromes are shown down here. Red box means they're offline. Yellow box, like Gatwick Ground here, means they're online but they're not using the latest beta. Uh, and the green box means that they are online and they are using the latest beta. However, it doesn't mean they necessarily have VCCS set up or even know what it is. It just means they're using the beta. First thing to do, click test. If it lights up like this, solid red solid red and the two test lines light up and you also get a little message down here that's connected to the server then you know it's working just hit end there we go now I'm just gonna call uh, Stansted Tower who I've already spoken to so hopefully it works it makes the uh, the Euroscope ring ring on the on the standard you can find it in sounds if you want to change it I do find that the WAV that comes with Euroscope is a bit long and it means that even after you answer it carries on playing for a bit so it might be worth actually replacing that WAV file uh, but you'll find it just in the normal places all the files so to call Stansted there are two ways uh, I can click on the button here or uh, I can right click and call on VCCS which is a very quick way if you don't have screen space for this um, just to call somebody so let's call him and we'll just say a uh, quick hello so this is it ringing Hello. Hello, just doing a quick test. 
Yeah, it's still freaking ringing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's that web file. Cool. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for your help. No problem. Bye. Bye. And uh, that's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, it, it does mean that you don't have to do this uh, Manchester Air, Manchester Int stuff, because if the phone rings and I'm a Manchester Int, I would just say, hello, Manchester, or hello, Manchester Int, or whatever you like, because I can see who's calling me, which is something I particularly like about this. And the only last thing to say is you have in quick set show TC VCCS mini control, which is this. Uh, and from here, you can see if line one or line two is ringing, you can click it uh, and then you can just use your push to talk just as you would normally. So I think that's about it. Any uh, comments, please leave them below or in the forums and I hope you found this useful.